I think that we're benefiting from automation in a number of ways. And there is a skill gap around the world. And the skill gap comes in different wor uh, forms. There is a quantity gap and there's a quality gap. So I think in, in many parts of the world, we might have a retirement wave. We might have a demographic situation where you have to bring in more workers in quicker and train them. And we provide digital solutions to accelerate that adoption. We provide things like Operations Copilot, for example, that allows every operator to be the best operator uh, in an environment, uh, in a production environment, a continuous production environment. So those are all technologies and offers that make, make workers more effective. In regions of the world where there's a skill shortage, there we can do certainly more with less people. In world, parts of the world where we're deploying new technologies and you have to bring workers up the learning curve, then artificial intelligence and really a lot of the technology tools that we bring forward ah. are able to bring those workers to be proficient a lot faster. I was just going to ask you about uh, the sort of uh, favorite flavor of the day, artificial intelligence that everybody likes to talk about. Uh, two questions. On the outside, for clients, client-facing, how heavily AI'd uh, are you and your, your products, one? And two, internally, what you guys do uh, with from within, how much is, is AI embedded or enabled uh, there? Yeah, I think, you know, AI, the, the hype of AI is new. AI is not brand new, uh, and it's certainly not new to Honeywell. And I think if you look at the impact of AI on what we do, yes, generally as a company, we provide technology to our customers, but we usually try it on ourselves first. And so there are a lot of use cases inside Honeywell where we leverage AI, both in our business processes and automating what we do, really making better decisions faster, but then also in our operations, being more predictive, being able to leverage it to use predictive maintenance, being able uh, to really have tools that, that enable a more efficient, more sustainable operation. That same offering goes to our customers and it goes around a very broad set of offerings. I think if you look at a lot of statistics out there, we will really be short, whether it's airline pilots, whether it's refinery workers, you take your pick, take the profession. We're going to need way more workers in the next 10 years than we think we're going to have access to. Right. And so... AI can turn one pilot into two because you can have a co-pilot. AI can turn a refinery operator into two because you can have a, an operations co-pilot there that oversees some of the operation. We're on a journey to autonomous. We're not there. We're not. This is this is just another step along that way. But I think AI can really be leveraged to do what we do in a way more efficient, way more sustainable way. And in the end, like with any technology revolution. There is an apprehension, but the quality of life got better every time we had a technology revolution. I don't know why this would be the first time when it doesn't do that.